In recent years, it has become increasingly more popular to meditate. And one main reason for that is that nowadays it is easier than ever to have your own private meditation coach, simply through your phone. So in this quick video, I'm gonna break down for you the four main meditation apps out there, their pros and cons, and which one I would personally recommend to you. App number one is called 10% Happier, and it was originally published by a former TV host called Dan Harris. Dan Harris made national news when he had a nervous breakdown on camera, after which he decided that he needs to make a change in his life. So long story short, he discovered meditation for himself and since then has made it his life mission to share the values and benefits of meditation with a larger audience. In the app itself, you have extensive courses on topics like handling stress better, becoming a little bit more happier, increasing your performance, just to name a few here, and they are really in depth. And I would say that that is the general upside of this particular meditation app. It goes really deep into specific topics. You have experts in their field sharing their knowledge with you. And then on top of that, you also have specific talks. You have things that you can listen to on the go. You have sleeping sessions if you have trouble falling asleep. So there's really a lot of content there and it will take forever to get through all of that. But while it is obviously cool to have that much content to choose from, especially if you want to get a bit deeper into these a little bit more spiritual topics, it can also be a little bit of a downside of that app. For example, I'm missing something like a very basic meditation timer. Basically just a countdown that I can set for myself with no talk, no explanation, not even a guided meditation, but simply a timer that I can set if I want to meditate for 10 minutes quickly before I go to work. And for an app that is missing these basic features, it is kind of pricey. It comes with a seven day trial period, but you automatically continue with a subscription for a whole year if you don't cancel in time. And then you pay 1029 crowns in Sweden, which is about this many dollars. A cheaper option would be app number two, which is Waking Up with Sam Harris. Now Dan Harris from 10% Happier and Sam Harris from Waking Up are two completely unrelated people, even though they know each other, appreciate each other's friendships in private and obviously share the interest in guided meditation. But Sam Harris has a neuroscientist background and is the bestseller author of a book called Waking Up. And his app works a little bit differently. From the get-go, you have access to quite a lot of content, even if you don't pay a single cent for it. You get your first five sessions of guided meditation with Sam Harris for free. And on top of that, a bunch of courses that you also get free access to. They cover topics like the cure for boredom or gratitude. And even though they are quite short, I do feel like they provide quite a lot of value in a short period of time. The app also comes with a meditation timer, which I know is very basic and of course you can just use your normal watch. But hey, I like to have everything in one place. So I do really appreciate that this app, Waking Up, has a timer that I can use for however long I want to meditate. But of course the business model is essentially the same for all of these apps. Also with Sam Harris's Waking Up app, you can purchase a subscription. And this subscription is slightly cheaper than from the first app, but actually not that much. It's 949 Swedish crowns per year. So in dollars, it's this much. You have to decide for yourself if that is worth it for you. Honestly, I haven't purchased the premium account yet. So I don't know how the content becomes after you buy this subscription, but I can see that there's a lot of content out there. There's a lot of locked content that you don't get access to unless you pay for it. And I think that's fair enough. App number three is probably the elephant in the room here. It's the most widely used meditation app out there. It is called Headspace. Headspace's subscription model is pretty straightforward. You get 10 free sessions to get a feel for what meditation means. And then afterwards you have to purchase the app, get a premium account if you want to continue using it. Now I have mentioned this pro tip before. 
if you want to get the premium subscription for cheaper and you already have a Spotify premium account, then you can combine the two and only pay $5 for your Headspace subscription per month. I think that's a pretty sweet deal and that's why I got it myself. So I have been using Headspace Premium for a couple of months now. I actually did a Headspace review. If you are interested, you can check it out right up here where I go much more detailed into what Headspace actually provides. I personally like Headspace so much because it is very good guided meditation, but not that much around it. And this is exactly what I was looking for when I bought my meditation subscription. I wanted an experienced meditation coach, check, somebody with a soothing and calm voice, check, and somebody who doesn't make a big deal out of meditation, but simply explains the process to me, like I'm a five-year-old, check. I feel like this is one of the reasons why Headspace is so popular. There's not a lot of spirituality involved, it's pretty much meditation for anyone. So if you want to go mainstream meditation app, then Headspace is probably the way to go here. If you are someone who wants to get lectures on top of that, who wants to listen to maybe courses on meditation and related topics though, then the previous two apps might be better for you. And the fourth meditation app that I have personally tried out and that I want to discuss here is called Calm. Now Calm has a little bit of a different approach to meditation because it doesn't focus entirely on meditation. Instead, it focuses on providing material and information and courses on how to calm yourself down and ground yourself a little bit more. Obviously, meditation can help with that, but it's not the only resource they provide. They also offer calming music and help to fall asleep better. And the way they do that is quite interesting, I believe. They offer the service of people reading you basically bedtime stories. But they do so in a very calming manner and it actually does help if you have issues falling asleep. And honestly, even if you don't, who doesn't want Matthew McConaughey reading you a bedtime story, right? Furthermore, I really enjoy that Calm has a more holistic approach to the whole Calm concept. They focus on your body as well, they give you exercises on how to calm your breath, so all of these are things that are not mentioned at all in the previous apps and I think unrightfully so. Of course, all of that again comes at a price, but as you can see, it is much cheaper than some of the previous apps that I mentioned. This is one of the reasons that I believe Calm is so popular as well. They offer high quality content and guidance without overcharging you. And if you're someone who is just naturally stressed out or has issues falling asleep, but you might not even be that interested in meditation per se, you're just looking for a quick fix of your problem, then Calm might have a wider variety of what you can actually try out to improve that state. In general, I would conclude that it really depends on what your needs are and the kind of personality that you have in general when you decide which app you want to go with. They all have their pros and cons, they all have a slightly different approach, even though the product is basically the same. So I would recommend that you download all of them. Try all of them out. None of them you have to pay for at the very beginning. Just make sure that you cancel your subscription on time so you don't get charged for a whole year after that week. And once you have decided which one you like most, feel free to come back to this video and share it in the comments below so other people can know as well. And if you did like enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe. I'm gonna publish more videos on meditation, on personal development, on happiness and gratitude. So if those are topics that you're interested in, not only try those four apps, but also try some other videos on this channel. Hope you guys enjoyed and as always, see you next time.